Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so once again, I want to continue in this series of uh, questions, frequent questions that I get. So another one that I get a lot is how much exercise do my Britneys need? How much exercise do you need, Brittany? Come here. Oh, come here, buddy. Come here. He's jumping all over the place. Come here, Pepper. <laughs> how much exercise do you need, girl? <laughs> She's crazy. They both are. So, Britneys are actually, well, a lot of people use them for hunting dogs, for bird dogs, for uh, tracking dogs sometimes, for a lot of different things. And so, obviously, with that um, comes the territory of them needing a lot of exercise. And so, if you ask people, Brittany owners, will probably tell you uh, the same thing, that they need a lot of exercise. And by exercise, that doesn't just mean going for a walk or whatever that is. Oh, they heard me say that. <laughs> They'll probably start going crazy now that they uh, they heard that. They're pretty smart. They know, uh, they know a few words. But that doesn't mean just like going for a walk. That means them like actually running. And so they need, it, it kind of varies. But I would say they need at least an hour a day of, like, vigorous physical activity, whether that's running or playing. Uh, these two like to wrestle, that's for sure. And so you think to yourself, an hour a day, how am I going to have time to exercise these dogs an hour a day, especially if, if you work and, um, you know, have a difficult schedule? Luckily for me, I work from home, and so these puppies get to stay out all day. They love it, although they think that they've got a tough life. They, Rooney whines all the time because he wants to go and do all this crazy stuff, but in reality, they got a pretty good life because they don't have to ever go in their crate, so, <laughs> so he likes that. They both like that pretty well, but with that being said, of course, I'm a little bit of an outlier. Um, so we kind of knew this from the beginning before we got Rooney and Piper. We knew that they needed lots of exercise and that it was going to be kind of hard for us to. Um, even though I work from home, I'm stuck at a desk a lot of the day. So I can't exactly go and run around with them. So that's actually why we got both Rooney and Piper is for that reason that when I can't run around with them or Allie can't run around with them, they have each other. And so... It really helps them out on all sorts of levels, not just with exercise. And Rooney's just laying here with me. Rooney, you wanna get on camera? Here you go, buddy. So it helps them out. Ow, they just wanna lick me. Can't be licking me, I'm on camera. So it helps them out in a lot of different ways, not just with exercise, but you know, it just calms them. Um, they like having a companion around, um, helps them with their personalities and stuff like that. But Definitely for exercise. So these two, every single morning, they have a routine. Now, I've talked about this before, how they love their routines, but that's for a separate video. But they have a routine where they wake up, and as soon as I let them out, they come in here, and they will wrestle for I don't know how long. And I'm talking like <laughs> crazy, like going at it. Not vicious where they hurt each other, but usually they'll both like play over like a ball or something like that like this, this little Kong toy. This is something that they love. And so they'll wrestle around with this and, and fight and play, and run around. And I mean, they're full on sprinting. And so we've got a pretty decent sized basement down here for them to run around in. So that helps. But even with that, them doing that, you know, multiple times a day, they still need more. So usually what I'll try to do is throw some ball with, with Rooney and Piper. And so that usually involves either in here during the winter time, throwing it around or in the garage, they love that, or outside throwing it with them. And a lot of times even that's not enough. So they'll like to go outside. During the summertime, we take a lot of walks, let them run and stuff. But it is, it, it's a difficult thing to kind of get the amount of exercise they need. And it it's something that, you know, I, I enjoy doing. That's something that you should know before you get a Brittany, that it, unless you plan on, you know, you've got you've to enjoy being around them and running with them and playing with them. 
Um, if not, it's going to be difficult because they want you to be active too. So a lot of times I'll be out there running with them. And so I definitely recommend that if you're going to get a Brittany, that you make sure that you plan to be active with them and spend quite a bit of time with them. But on the weekends, they like to go on hikes and anything like that. And of course, if you're planning on hunting with them, then that's kind of self-explanatory. They're going to get their exercise out doing that. But I, I, if I had to give any advice, it would be, yes, one, plan to exercise with them a lot. But also, two, at least make sure you have two, um, two Britneys or, or even another dog. So that way they can play with each other when you're tired or whatever. Because I can't keep up with them, that's for sure. And I'm in pretty good shape, but I cannot keep up with Mr. Rooney and Miss Piper. <laughs> so that's why they have them each other, and they love to just run around, and they will fight and play, you know, half a day if we let them. And then as soon as they're done, you can tell because they go straight to sleep. So, yeah, I, I hope this kind of helps you a little bit to uh, to know before you get a uh, Brittany. I, I, my family, we've, we've owned, you know, several different dogs before, but these... Uh, these dogs definitely need more exercise than most other breeds. Um, that's just flat out how it is. And if you're, you know, if you're not necessarily going to have time to, to give them that exercise or to play with them, then I don't necessarily know if this breeds for you. But if you do, if you have plenty of time like that to, uh, to do that, uh, especially on the weekends, run around with them, then, you know, I can't. I'm, I have to say, there's probably not a better dog breed for you. I love these two, absolutely, and uh, they make great companions, even for each other, so, so yeah, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit, and if there's any other questions with it, just go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'd be happy to answer them, and uh, I'm going to continue making videos in this series, kind of tips and, you know, random little things, I mean, you can probably find this stuff online, but, you know, read about it, but here's a first-hand experience, I'll just tell you, I've you know, I've had them for a little over a year, and this is just kind of my experience with, with owning two Britneys. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helps you, and if you enjoy these videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you can see more of them. Uh, I try to upload every uh, week or every other week or whatever about um, some sort of video like this. So hopefully that helps, and I will see you all in the next one.